Hey everybody, we're going to do the next one in this series. This one is going to be about the blog. I had somebody a couple of days ago in the comments asking me about how she could get her blog working a little bit better. So we decided we we're going to go with it on the 1st of December, and here we are. Basically, blogs were big in the 20 teens, the 2010s, 20 teens, SEO for a blog will stay with you forever kind of like with youtube you can go months years and still end up in the same ranking with blogs TikTok and instagram are the new hot things you can go with a 20 or 60 second TikTok or a 15 second uh reel but unfortunately with those depending on how consistent that you are you could in the same week not have the same content showing and especially a month later they're all the way down at the bottom of your feed whereas with a blog or say a youtube they just hang around there's different types of blogs there's many many types of blogs you got your artist your art your music of course the branding of yourself blog where you're just writing everything about yourself your getting yourself in front of your fans and creating a connection the niche blog we we went through the niche that did really well by the way that that video was my best video where you're very specific to a product a service or an idea kind of like my current blog is a niche blog it's all about training and coaching and getting everybody over to the facebook group that i manage then you have, I'm going to skip over that one and go to medium.com. Medium That's the Facebook of blogs. There are a few others. It's the biggest one. You don't want to set up your domain. You don't want to buy a domain. You don't want to set up either a Wix or a WordPress Word uh, website. You don't want to have to deal with all the apps that are necessary to get everything to work within the website. So with a medium.com, you just sign up. You can pay five bucks a month and just start writing to your heart's content. It's just that it's not yours. It belongs to Medium. If they do stuff, if you mess up or do something and they kick you out, then you're just kicked out. Again, there are dozens of blogs. What I'm going to go over is the complex blog. This is a website that you use as a blog, but you also use for training, use for syndication, for funnels. You can make a member site, you can do forums, all kinds of stuff. Like, share, and comment, please. Take the time. What I do with the team of affiliates is we work together. We like, share, comment each other's content. See it right there. First thing we're going to go over is syndication. Syndication you're sharing with others they're sharing with you especially let's say you have a seven person team which was what i work with and amongst them you have several bloggers so you pick an article a week that you share with the rest of the team and they put it on their website that post that you're putting on their website points back to your site which gives you a backlink backlinking isn't as strong as it used to be because people were abusing it but it does still work as long as where it's coming from has content and where it's going to has content. Both sites need to be SEO'd to the point where a customer would go to your website or to your blog and they would have an experience that is good versus you have three blogs and a funnel that says buy my product. That's just not going to work out as well as you think. Also with syndication, let's say you go to somebody that has a much larger blog than you. They have much, many more followers. You ask them if you can write a blog article for them. One of their first questions is going to be, well, have you done this before? And you can at least give some examples of what you've written for the other people in your team and their websites give you a better chance of getting in there the video funnel if you look at the picture let's say i have a four video series set 
Now you can do this from a free site to a free site and just say that this is a hidden, these are on hidden pages. So you create video one, video two, you go to Aweber or whatever autoresponder that you're using, you create a form and what that form does, is that form sends them to the next video in the series. So they fill in their first, they fill in their name and their email and it sends them to either the hidden page or the membership page. We'll get to membership pages in a second. And they move along. You have an app called Social Warfare. It's the app that I used. And what you can do is you can take your Facebook and Twitter and Blogger and all the different sharing icons that you have for your video. And if somebody was to share it, it would bring the new person into video number one. You can clone these from video number one and clone them into video two, clone them into video three, clone them into video four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What you don't want is somebody sharing video three and having the person come in to video number three. You want to clone these so that when they share video three, it's been cloned. So it's going to come back in at the beginning of the vlog funnel. PLR requires that you have a membership site if you use, say, a video series for them. So, let, for example, most of them will say minimum of $7 for a membership site. You could bundle it in with other things, but if you're going to use it on your website, it can't be on the free side. So, you build a video or two videos that then squeeze into the membership side with the other five, six, seven, eight, nine videos, however many videos that they have in the PLR. I'm not going to go over. I think everybody, once you start looking in the PLR, you'll find out that there's 10% of these that you could actually use on your membership site. This is a pretty good way to get email and names, especially if, let's say it's free site to free site, and that this video is just on a page that you have hidden and renamed. Same with this one. This is where we get into the hidden pages. Let's say you have multiple products because you didn't watch the other video I put out that said if you're a beginner, don't have multiple products. What multiple products on hidden pages will do is it will save you additional hosting, additional domains, et cetera, et cetera. But what you have to do is You'll create a page for that product. The page can't just be, say, uh, affiliate mastermind.online slash click funnel slash uh, SEM rush or slash traffic secrets because people are just going to guess those uh, as you're going through it, especially if there are several pages. So you put in the name, put a bunch of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eights after, after it. And now you have one website that has multiple products on it and saved you a good amount of domain registration money, website money, app money. You don't have to worry about uh, Google when you do your analytics going to multiple sites. You can still use your analytics on the same site and see everybody that's coming in in one, in one spot. The last one I'm going to go over is forums. Forums are better used for a site that already has traffic. Let's say that you've brought in quite a few people and you've decided with all of those people, you can just use an app within WordPress or an app within Wix, create a forum. It, you do it in one day and you can put in things. Let's say you have an exercise, you have a general discussion, exercise, food, diet, shake, supplements. And you just let your people chat amongst themselves in there and you just moderate and make sure everything's going all right. Not a bad idea. Still 2006 to 2009 idea, but forums are still used. They're still big. At the end of this, same thing I always say. Keep yourself, keep your agenda simple. Keep yourself on track. I have my blog at the top. I replace this with say Facebook for those that want don't want to do a blog because they're crazy and 
you just go down the list, go down the list, go down the list, you're done for your day, and then I can focus on my Facebook group all night long, which is what I normally do. I still got a bunch of these in the queue. Do me a favor, give me a subscribe. I'll put out another 25 or so of these. And if you're interested, don't forget, I put teams of affiliates together so that they can help and support each other up to 40 plus at this point. It is six times bigger than I thought it would be at this time. Super grateful. Would love for you to come join us. Thank you.